Hello everyone, Moran McKay here for part 4 of Viconia's quest walkthrough. Um, well, let's, uh, let's find out what she has to say next. The drow are never this idle with their time. I don't know why, but every time I put her in this room she gets trapped behind that trap door. Since you are the center of Viconia's attention, she looks over you hungrily and steps towards you slowly. Are you okay? Viconia gazes into your eyes and seems to be feeding off your strength. You begin to sweat. She steps closer still, and you begin to wonder whether she's going to kiss you or kill you where you stand. Magnificent. Truly magnificent. Now, I know I stated earlier in the, uh, in the, in the walkthrough, in the playthrough, that um, you have to have her with you for a certain amount of time at, for her to talk to you. However, I just came back to Valenor Manor. I've been out all day. She's been here in this room all game day. And then she talked to me. So either that that update that I downloaded fixed the fact, or I was wrong to begin with. Either one could be right. I don't know which is which. And I'm not going to go back to a previous save to find out. So, uh, I don't know. It's possible that I was wrong, or that maybe one of the other mods I had installed at the time was interfering with it. That's possible too, so anyway. These surface females and their foolish games they play to ensnare common simple men. I have found it, found it rather silly. They would know nothing of how to handle you, whereas I... She trails off with a smile on her face that makes your knees buckle. What was life like before you were an adventurer? Didn't it seem simpler? Less complicated? What do you mean? There were less entanglements, less chaos. We weren't always exploring some dank, ruined place. I actually prefer this life. Do you? Do you think that such excitement will grip your senses forever? Is there no longing for peace within you? I suppose. What are you trying to say? It would be nice, wouldn't it? We can leave it anytime we like. That is an offer worth considering. I appreciate the words of friendship. It is not words I am familiar with. Would you change that friendship? Perhaps. I promise nothing. this, do you ever entertain the notion of marriage? Of course. Who doesn't? I mean a union witnessed by the sacrament and ritual to commit to one person in all manner, it seems, tear on to slavery. No, marriage is a splendid union. Uh, drought culture allows for husbands to be disposed of and replaced drow women kill their husbands? If they deserve it, placing demands on the woman is not done. To voice protest about the wishes of the matriarch is punishable by execution. The 
Drow are matriarchal society. The women rule and the men are subservient to them. Now you see why I'm having such a difficult time adjusting. This is merely one reason among many. Well, here men don't get to kill their wives. Viconia smiles a little bit, which is rare. You seem to have struck a bit of feeling somewhere inside her. Have I ever told you how it is that I came to flee from the Underdark? Um, no, actually you have not. I had worshipped the Spider Queen for an age and a half, longer than you have been alive. There came a time when my faith in Lilith was no more. How did that happen? I laughed as a child when a baby was to be sacrificed. I lost my will that day. A baby? That's horrible. One of the lesser priestesses noticed my hesitation and she took the babe's life herself, eager to usurp my place in Lilith's favor. What happened next? My house fell into disfavor with Lilith. As a result, word spread throughout the city. My mother scrambled to make sacrifices, but it was useless. I think I see where this is going. The weak began to pray of the faithful. A lesser house jumped and began the war with ours. My mother wished me to recant. And you refused? Yes, I was disgusted with my queen, so I cursed my mother and endangered my house. I thought that I could survive after that I would survive after my actions. Which you obviously did. I know the memory of the event fills my heart with bile. I cannot continue, perhaps another time. I am ready to continue my tale, if you are willing to hear it. Certainly. Take your time. I told you how my mother, she was desperate to restore Lilith's goodwill to the house of Dever, and I was proving uncooperative. What did she do? She commanded that I be offered as a sacrifice to appease the Spider Queen. Your own mother? By the nines! I was surrounded by male soldiers who attempted to cart me off to the temple. I hated my mother, but I knew that she did the right thing. And you fought them? I fought grandly, killing many of the males, but it was futile. So they took you away. I was overtaken, dragged to the temple, and put on the altar for the priestesses to take my life. I would have died if it were not for my brother, or Valus. You must have been close. Yes, he saved me. I'm sorry, I do not wish to continue discussing Velas. Excuse me. Tell me something. Did you have much of a family? Why? What brings this on? I do not understand, not understand the racial relationships, closeness of families on the surface, keep, keep with each other. In the Underdark, things are very different. What was your family like? Much the same as other drow families, children are raised by priestesses or the matrons. And there is no affection, loyalty, all exists to serve Lilith. What about fathers? Fathers do not exist, exist as you know it. The males service the matron of the house when she wishes to conceive or when she desires it. That is a weakness, I think. Drowned males are educated in all forms of erotic pleasure. They exist to please the women and live or die at their whim. Not sure I'd care for that. Um, there are normally no brothers, but there are some males favor, favor more than others. Most simply exist to serve the queen of the house, but this was not always so. You mentioned your brother before. My brother Valus. 
was an exception to the standard drama male. He, he was my childhood friend, he was my only friend, and as an adult he was a useful wizard. You protected each other? Yes. I ensured the worst of the abuses that befell males did not strike him. In the end he saved my life and prevented uh, my sacrifice and killed our mother. What happened to him? He no longer exists in drought form. I am cold and tired and no longer in the mood to speak. Excuse me. If you would, if you would please sit with me for a moment before you retire, I would be thankful. I find myself uncharacteristically overcome with anxiety and I'm not eager to be alone for the evening. Uh, sit with her and hold her. You can sense Viconia shaking. You grab her hand and she grips yours tightly. She, she looks into your eyes. You think you see a tear. Are you okay? Come to me, my Miranda sense. Viconia grabs you by the head, pulling you into a her and you both lock in an intense kiss like nothing you've ever experienced. Are you sure this is wise? Destiny awaits! Viconia begins stripping off your clothes, and you know you're about to explore the erotic arts of the drow. And then we get our first quest update. Since you picked her up. I finally slept with Viconia. Maybe now she will change her attitude. Well, I see that you are finally awake. I hope that your pathetic exertions of last night brought at least one of us some measure of pleasure. This is because you opened up to me. Bah, do not attempt to look into my mind and render judgment, imbecile. You haven't the strength or the knowledge, just leave me be. This place is spooky. Another quest update. It wouldn't surprise me if there was a zombie or a skeleton behind the next corner. Iconia is meaner than ever. Something tells me I must sleep before this goes any further. I have been watching you through the night, and each moment I do so, my stomach has churned with vileness. Your very presence makes me ill. You opened up. This is predictable. I cannot! Enough! Get away from me! Oh, another quest update. Viconi has been acting strangely lately. I'd better get some sleep. I have a feeling she won't talk to me until I do. Notice Viconia staring at you. What's wrong? Speak not to your betters, surface slave. 